residential. Okay, today I've got for you five foods that sound healthy, but usually are not. And not only am I gonna show you five foods that are usually not healthy for you, but I'm going to offer some alternatives as well. So come on back and let's get started. Oh, and if you like this kind of thing, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. If you like the video, would you give me a thumbs up? It really helps my video rankings and I'd really appreciate it. Granola has always been something that people think is healthy because it's got rolled oats and nuts and crushed coconut and all that kind of good stuff. The problem is that it's literally a sugar and calorie splurge. This is especially true when you're buying it in the grocery store. Just going down the grocery store aisle, you'll see things like gluten-free, low added sugar, organic, healthy, fine. Think of the front of the package of anything as the marketing spin. That's the marketing spin that the companies want to suck you into buying their product. Never put it in your basket, I shouldn't point, never put it in your basket until you have flipped it over and actually looked and read the ingredients. The other thing about granola is that the serving sizes are so small, you can easily, easily overeat. Most of them are anywhere from a quarter of a cup to a third of a cup for a serving size. I don't know about you, but I have never, ever, ever only eaten a third of a cup worth of granola. I'll show you with oats. Here's a quarter of a cup. I have small hands. This is a quarter cup of oats. So imagine if it was like chunky granola, that's a quarter of a cup. That's not a lot. And most of the granolas are going to pack 120 to 150 calories each. So you could really quickly ingest two, three, 400 calories. I mean, honestly, if I do it, I eat the entire bag and it's just a sugar rush. Instead, I've got something better for you. Put the recipe down below. This is a healthy homemade granola alternative. And the binder and the sweetener, instead of being a honey or a sugar, is simply bananas, soaked dates that you puree, add some almonds, some vanilla extract, a little bit of sea salt, and I like to pack some chia seeds in it as well. This is a much healthier alternative for you. <laughs> Notice that whenever I give you something that you should stay away from, rarely will I give you another packaged product from the grocery store for a couple of reasons. I personally believe in eating as close to the source as possible. Anything that I offer you is going to be something that you can make easily at home with ingredients that most people will have in their pantry. The objective is putting good, wholesome, whole food products into your body for internal health, then shows through your skin, vitality, your overall beauty, and of course, weight management. I like to manage my weight, and I know a lot of you do too. Wheat bread. Here's the thing. Unless it specifically says 100% whole wheat, chances are it has enriched flour in it. Enriched flour has been stripped of the nutrients through processing, and it will spike your blood sugar. It's not the best option for you. Want to look for bread that says 100% whole wheat. I love the Ezekiel bread. Ezekiel is sprouted seed bread. It's higher in nutrients, higher in fiber and protein. It has no added sugar and it's just delicious. Four grams of protein per slice. As a nice healthy lunch option, I'll toast a piece of Ezekiel bread, spread just a little bit of pesto on top, and then I layer grilled veggies. I particularly like grilled eggplants, grilled zucchini squash, yellow squash, a little bit of um, roasted red bell pepper and fresh basil. That's really good. So that's a good option for you too. Protein and snack bars. Usually stuffed with preservatives, additives, artificial colors, tons of sugar, and overall they are ridiculously processed. You're in essentially ingesting chemicals into your body. Not good. I used to be the queen of protein bars. I love my protein bars. They were always in my desk at the office and I was just like crazy about them. I loved them. But you know, as we get more and more information and times evolved, we kind of learned that what we maybe used to do wasn't so healthy. For example, you guys here's this Nutrisystem bar and now they call this a lunch bar I will get into why not to do these kind of meal programs in a later video but here's the Nutrisystem it is labeled as a lunch bar with 10 grams of protein first of all I don't know who's having this for lunch not me it has 12 grams of added sugar 12 grams of added sugar is half 
of the daily maximum allowance that women should be getting. According to the ADA or the AHA, the maximum number of added sugar grams that we as women should be getting is 24. That's the maximum. Um, okay, now I took a bite of this to try to try it for you. Um, you know, it's good, it is, I mean, it tastes good. It's a chocolate caramel, it kinda tastes like a brownie, but it honestly, it's crappy for you. Don't eat it, put it away. Same thing with the Kind Bar. Kind Bar, probably a little bit better for you in terms of it doesn't have all the preservatives. I find with the Kind Bars, they're not very filling. It still has four or five grams of added sugar, depending on which one you get, and there are just better alternatives. <laughs> you're looking for a protein boost. Instead of a protein bar, try something along the lines of fresh vegetables with some hummus. I like a whole apple with some unsweetened almond butter. You're getting a nice whole piece of fruit, which again, we want to eat as close to the source as possible. It's better for our insides, it's better for digestion, it shows through your skin, your overall vitality, and it's better for your body from an aesthetic standpoint in terms of like weight management, weight loss, and some almond butter. Always, always, always make sure that it's unsweetened. You can also use peanut butter, cashew butter. I probably use maybe a tablespoon. Remember this is pretty caloric, so you might want to keep it to a dull roar. <music> Bottled protein shakes. Okay, again, read the label, you guys. Anytime before you go to buy something, flip the label over, read the ingredients. Don't just look at, oh, it's got 12 grams of protein. See what the ingredients are. A lot of these bottled proteins that you just get off the store shelf are filled with crap. Sugar, fruit purees, fruit juices, some stabilizers, artificial color, depending on the brand. Just stay away from it. Either one, make your own, or two, you know, sometimes we travel and maybe we're at a, a nice hotel and you want to go downstairs and you want to have a smoothie for breakfast, most of the time you can dictate what they put in the smoothie. If I'm going to have a smoothie, this is usually what I do. I use an almond milk, make sure that it's unsweetened, keep the fruit to a dull roar, so I balance maybe some fresh strawberries, half of a banana, and then a nice handful of spinach. So I balance the fruit with some vegetables. I stay away from any honeys, maple syrup, agave, any additional additives that are just going to spike my blood sugar sugar and add calories and instead I depend on the fruit to add the sweetener. Not least, who doesn't like an acai bowl? You know what I'm talking about? Those big, beautiful, like frosty purple desserts that have like tons of granola and honey and berries, and they're just like so freaking good. Believe me, I love those. But those are complete calorie, sugary splurges. Delicious? Yes. The best option? Probably not. <laughs> I do and I will put the video link below. I did last year a video on an acai bowl that I make at home that's very figure friendly and I really think it's just as delicious. I get the acai little packages unsweetened, just pure unsweetened acai in the grocery store in the freezer section, no big deal. And I'll just put one or two of these in a blender, almond milk, half of a frozen banana that I use as the sweetening agent. Why does this always happen to me? I give it a nice little whir and that's it. Fill it with tons of fresh blueberries and raspberries because those are low on the glycemic index, really high in antioxidants and vitamins and minerals, unsweetened coconut, a few chopped almonds to give it that satisfying crunch. It's the perfect little treat to have if you're in the mood for ice cream, if you just kind of want a nice little dessert, this is the perfect one to have. Okay, so those are my five for today. I hope you found that helpful. If there's anything that you in particular would like me to review, be sure to just give a comment below. And if you like this sort of thing, subscribe to my channel, visit me on the blog and the Parker Confidential.